Hi guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome to Fishy Angler. If you've been with me for a while, I really appreciate your support. Uh, today, we're gonna uh, do the maintenance on my Wilderness uh, Helix, Wilderness Systems Helix pedal drive. So I bought my uh, Wilderness System Systems Raider 115 kayak uh, used and uh, I found out from previous owner that he didn't do any maintenance uh, on the drive. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna lubricate the gears inside of both lower and, uh, and the upper um, compartment and uh, I wanna share this with you. All right, so for this job, we would need a minimal things. So we need 532 uh, Allen range and uh, we need some marine grease. So I do have Johnson um, marine grease that I used for my outboard. So it, it's perfectly fine. It's a, it's a blue marine grease. So it's gonna be perfect for it. And uh, some rug to wipe our fingers off. So that's all we would need. And uh, let's start with the top unit. Um, so the top unit has um, grease port right here. Uh, usually manufacturer recommend, you know, to unscrew that uh, hex plug in there and just use, you know, grease gun um, and a grease needle and just pump this this thing full until you see it showing up the grease showing up back so but anyhow this thing was never disassembled from the factory so what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna take the whole head unit off and we're gonna grease gears inside so all we need just use this 532 hex key or Allen key, Allen range, whatever you want to call it, and just take this, take these four bolts, and this unit is supposed to just come off. So let's take it off. are off so all we're gonna do and just remove the head and there it is so there's to pay attention to this ring that's what keeps everything waterproof so I'm gonna put the ring back on a shaft here to make sure that it stays where it's supposed to be in that groove there is a little bit of groove in there in the flange so okay um, yeah as you can see there is not that much grease in there to begin with it's just a tiny bit in there now let me just keep this bolt away so we'll lose them so yeah there's just a tiny bit of grease there. So I'm gonna put some more um, on both of these. So we don't need too much of it, but just enough to keep it lubricated. So I just put a bit of grease on the on the gears. put some inside this housing as well on this big gear I mean we don't need to fill up the whole housing with the grease 
I mean that uh, the port for the greasing in there they say if you know you just uh, pump the grease inside until you see it's coming out just to make sure that that grease actually gets to the gears hey <laughs> some FedEx delivery all right so we're just gonna fill the threads the, uh, the gear and off you go that's it this should be enough So at this point, when we're gonna assemble, there's a trick to it. When we assemble uh, the drive, the prop and pedals have to be lined up. Uh, so the prop already sitting in the position, in a vertical position here. So when we assemble this drive, the pedals, the right pedal should be upward and the left one should go should look down so it should be lining up the the prop direction and the pedal direction but at this point you know we don't care exactly you know the position because we're going to be taking down the lower unit and we'll have another opportunity to actually line everything up but just you know to keep it to keep it right so the prop in there is in the right position so then we we're gonna put pedal in the let's see. Yeah, we'll put the pedal in an upright position like this. And we'll insert it back. And there you go. So now we're gonna just with our screw back. I'm gonna put just a little bit of grease on it. Just tiny bit uh, to keep it lubricated and uh, prevent from seizing inside because uh, the screws are stainless steel and the housing is aluminum. So, but if you're gonna be disassembling at least once a year, I mean, it should be okay, it, sh it, it should not seize, but. Uh, I'll put just a little bit of grease there just to keep it all right so I'm gonna put it together and then we'll get to the lower unit all right I tied all the bolts I kind of screw them all in <clears throat> and we're ready to tie them up so what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, tie those bolts in the cross pattern so I'm gonna tie this one and the one a little bit and the one on the other side right across it all right and the last one on this side and that's it and the maintenance of the upper unit is done so now we're gonna get to to the lower unit it's pretty much gonna be the same thing uh, but in this case we need to bring uh, the locking assembly up we're gonna lock it like this in the deployed position and uh, we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna unscrew all the bolts and take the lower unit down all right so the bolts are out and the lower unit just slides off so same thing is in here as well we have this rubber ring we're gonna put it back in the groove and uh, 
here as you can see as well there is some factory grease but uh, it looks like uh, it wouldn't hurt to put some more <laughs> we don't need to fill it completely but uh, we get, we're going to put some grease on the gears inside the gear so there you go I mean there's still some factory but it's kind of bunched up right there in the middle so I'm just gonna put some in the gear teeth right there there you go I mean the first time I'll use it it will probably squeeze most of that grease out but it will leave some uh, some film film on it so that's gonna be enough and there we go. And we have grease in both of them so now we're gonna pay attention lining up prop and the pedals so the right pedal should be vertical up and then we need to line up the prop so it will fit vertically as well so that would be this way Let me get just a little bit of grease on the on the bolt, just tiny bit. And that's it. So that's I just check the position. vertical like this and then when we press the button the whole assembly goes inside like this and that's it so let's see let's see the operation of the drive there you go well, and with these drives, you know, to keep uh, your prop in a vertical position, um, manufacturer says, as I mentioned before, to have the right pedal up. But because of the gear ratio, even tiny or slight uh, misalignment like that, you know, this prop may not hit, um, will not go inside. It can come outside and it's stuck in a, in a drive well. So for that, to avoid that, I added these two white marks in there. This way, you know, I can align the pedals and actually you can see if they aligned the right way so I can pull up the drive. Well guys, that's how you uh, can disassemble and maintain and lubricate your gears inside in the upper and a lower unit so um, also as part of the maintenance you know tie the bolts on the housing here to make sure that they're snug and tight so um, the unit actually works tight and not loose so and that's pretty much it I mean there's not much to it if you do it that once a year um, it will last a very long time. So I hope you like this video. Uh, hit the like button if you do. And consider to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.